All right, since I'm your local airport tour guide these days, Hobby got some new artwork. David Maldano, one step forward on the shoulders of giants. All right, let's go to the gate. And all of the gates are decorated for Halloween. That one's cute. The subway smells are coming in strong. Look, they're making candy apples. I wonder how well these sell here in the airport. Have you ever seen somebody hop on their flight and chow down on one of these? A little sticky. I think this one gets the award and it turns out to be at my gate. Look, it's like they made these out of pumpkins. That's cute. And small children. Smoking is never allowed on board, including lavatories, but a lot of tampering lifts to tabling or destroying any smoke detector in an aircraft lab. I'm back in New York. This time I'm in the meatpacking district at the Gansevoort Hotel. I'm here for YouTube, actually. They invited me here to meet with them. Meetings at Google headquarters while I'm here. Let me show you guys this room because it is really cool. Here's the view from the door. A big closet here and a robe. Bed. Love the little seating area over here. Isn't it enjoyable? Looks nice and comfortable. Our view. We also have a yoga mat and this jazzy mirror. I don't know, I think it does something. I think it's like a workout mirror. Here's our nice workspace. Looks like they gave us some complimentary little cookies there. Juicy foams, Mr. Filbert's nuts, shortbread cookies, Tate's cookies, Kit Kat M&Ms, Leva's kit, chips. I won't touch in there too much because we don't want to activate the uh, $200 bottle of water. One of these old timey radios that's modernized. In room dining. And for the bathroom, we've got, oh, I love these shower heads. L'Occitane, magnifying mirror, hand soap, sink, dental set. Hmm. So I'm over here by Chelsea Market. I just went in this coffee shop, Day Drinks, and got an Americano and some water. You guys are kind of about to fall into the street, but that's okay. All right, let's go on in. I love the decor out here though, with all the uh, autumnal. So this used to be a slaughterhouse, I believe. Fat Witch Bakery. She's cute. I'm a little witch in a big city. This was here back when I lived here. If you're new here, I used to live here about seven years ago, six or seven years ago. Are these all different? 
different types of halva. I love halva. She's making noodles back there. More autumnal decor. Looks like you can go in and eat. You have all different kinds of pastas I guess you could buy. How adorable is this Barbie pasta set? You get six packs of pasta and then you get a little chef jacket and hat for your Barbie and a recipe book. What a fun gift that would be. Donut. You can go in there and eat. We have a vegan restaurant. Check out these vegan gummies. Salted caramel flavor. They also have pear crumble, berry berry. These look like nice candles. The Christmas tree guy. Do you guys like doing puzzles? I always did. This one's with the skeletal system. <laughs> All right, so they have a downstairs. Check out these bags, Kedzy. They look like they would be good for carrying the camera around. I can't really see because it's dark down here, but see it holds quite a bit. There's a pouch there in the front. Alright, so now we are going for a little walk. I'm gonna try and find this restaurant Peace Foods for lunch. Brunch, dunch, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna turn right up here on 8th Avenue. Select bus. Those are the buses, if I remember correctly, that have fewer stops, so they're faster. All right, here we go. There's a fall foliage going on. It's a great day, it's beautiful weather. It's like not cold or anything. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want her to be in the So it's half a mile on the left. They have their Halloween decorations up. He's going hard there. <laughs> I love the exterior of this building. Greenwich Village School. Look how pretty their front steps are. Flowers. Mm. noise in the background. I just love the exterior of this building. Today's special, ooh, watermelon cooler. Grilled oyster mushrooms, raw lasagna. Um, I ordered the pumpkin quiche. It has kale, cashew cheese, and tofu in it. And I also got a mango lassi. See the pumpkin chunks? You get a better view here. I'm not exactly. Yeah. 
this bike has Ernie on it, or Bert. I can't remember who's who. Ernie, that's right, this little guitar. Well, I highly recommend that place. It's delicious. Quiche was really good. Um, and the lossy was good too. All right, there's another pretty building. Love the top. You're on Fifth Avenue now. Here's a shot of Fifth Avenue and 21st Street. More eye-catching architecture. I guess you can buy a wand. More wands. Forty-two dollars for a wand. The Golden Snitch Birdie Bots Beans. Is this the Bean Boozled thing that was so popular on YouTube a few years ago? Or are there be like some nasty flavors in there? That was so Nino Lima. Books. The Arch Firebolts. I guess it's an authentic crop from the movie. You can buy a robe that personalized. Going back upstairs. Candles. Got these bags. Well, the Harry Potter store was surprisingly fun. Glove molds. This place you can get fun dishes. Little tiny baking cups. A place to get soup bowls. Yeah. What are these called? I want to call them chafing dishes, but that's not the right word. This is cute. Pigeons of New York. Little different little burrows and neighborhoods. Coming into Union Square Park.
Look at that couch. I dare say we have been pounding the pavement today. We walked 5.4 miles, doesn't feel like we did. Quite a few steps we got in. So I freshened up, I'm wearing that lipstick that was in my predominantly fails, but a few favorites monthly video. The shade is Killer Queen. I put that on, reapplied my um, sunscreen. I know what you're thinking, it's dark out, but it's a the Dermatology Tinted Sunscreen, just kind of, freshens up the skin a bit, moisturized. So they have a cocktail hour on the roof. It's pitch black out. I don't know how, how well I'm gonna be able to film this, but that is what is next on the agenda. So I'll take you guys along, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film. There'll be other people there. It's always kind of <laughs> with the camera. Some of these people are YouTubers, but the majority of them I'm assuming are people from like YouTube on the back end and you never know how they feel about being put on camera well hey guys i just got out of the shower i'm back from the event i had a ton of fun and uh so the reason i'm here is i'm meeting with people from youtube who want kind of the creator's perspective on certain things to help them out as they are developing certain parts of the youtube viewer experience and so they basically wanted my input so that's why i'm here and so this event tonight that i was just at that i did not film at it was like a meet and greet style thing where we met all these different people from youtube who work specifically in developing this feature that we're going to be talking about here and it was really fun uh, there are some other youtubers here but they basically had each YouTuber sit at a table and then they had the Google, people from Google, uh, Google YouTube um, that are working on this. They had them like circulate through in like a speed dating style. That's what it was. So I got to chat with all these different people from YouTube who work, you know, not content creators, but people who work to develop the platform. And I got to chat with them, get to know, they had these little cards with like questions as like icebreakers, but I'm such a chatterbox that I didn't, we didn't end up doing any of the questions on my cards. Uh, it was a lot of fun and they had um, like hors d'oeuvres and they had cocktails and stuff, but it was really fun. I'm really excited for tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty packed day tomorrow. Um, it's basically from 7.30 ish is breakfast. And then at um, nine is when we start and we're there all day. And then we're going to a dinner in the evening. So tomorrow is gonna to be a packed day. I'm really looking forward to it. It's really cool to be able to interact with people who develop YouTube as a platform and actually be able to feel like you can help them out because of your experience on the creator side and giving them you know feedback and all the feedback that i get from you guys and comments about stuff that you like things that you don't like you know i can kind of bring that to their attention which i really it's just really cool so that was a lot of fun but um i'm obviously going to be wrapping up the vlog one thing i wanted to share with you guys that blew me quite literally out of the water because i just got out of the shower <laughs> you like what i did there I don't use body wash as much, uh, only like under the arms, chest. I don't use them on my legs or anything. And I really don't use scented body washes that much, but I was shocked. Cause normal, normally a hotel, hotel uh, products, you know, they can be hit or miss. Sometimes they're watered down, 
But this L'Occitane shower gel, essential oils three, this smells amazing. It smells like grapefruit. It's got some citrusy scents to it and a little bit of mint. It smells like, like a cocktail, but without alcohol or like a fruit salad. That's what it smells like. It smells like a fruit salad, but a real fruit, not, you know, scented fruit, you know, the fruit scents. It smells like real fruit. I love this. I love it. It's just called shower gel three. And so I'm gonna have to go on their website and see if I can't find it because the scent is nice. And I know Loxy Tan makes uh, perfumes, right? They only make scented. I've never purchased them before. I wonder if they're any good quality because if they have that as a little fragrance oil, I might have to get that for myself. Skincare routine, super duper travel simple. Um, I just did. Where is it at? Oh, you guys are sitting on, on most of my skincare because I have this weird tripod set up because my tripod, if I put you guys on my tripod, you're too low. I have you on a tissue box plus the CeraVe Makeup Removing Cleanser Balm plus my Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. This is a perfect height right here because I got the light right there, so it's good. Uh, anyway, so I did, I just took off my sunscreen and uh, mascara and that lip uh, stick with the CeraVe Makeup Removing Cleanser Balm and I didn't even come in with a second cleanser honestly because uh, I didn't bring one this time because I finished my travel size of the Polish Choice Cleanser so I just used that it emulsified rinsed off seemed to do the trick moisturizer to face and body this is a Cetaphil Cetaphil why do I still call it Cetaphil Cetaphil Habits, old habits are hard to break. Cetaphil moisturizing cream. I did um, a virtual run to raise money for Camp Wonder, which is a camp for kids who have skin disorders. Um, and you know, they need like maybe some special care while they're at camp, nursing care. So they have full-time um, staff there that's skilled in um, dermatology. And they did a little fun run, Wonder Run. You could do it live and in person in Dallas. It was, or you could do it virtually and just tag hashtag Wonder on uh, Wonder Run 2022 on social media. So I did that. But anyway, as part of the race, I got a swag bag that had the race shirt. It had some Cetaphil products, including the moisturizing cream and the tube. So I brought that because it's within TSA guidelines, three ounces. So I brought that face body. I really like that moisturizer and. To my lips gosh i feel like the water is still it's turned off but it's just the residual and the pipes popping through neutrogena lip sleeping mask so this it's not mind-blowing good but it's so much better in my opinion than the laneige sleep mask and i like to i like to have it with me for travel purposes because it's small I like it, but I don't know that I would necessarily go out of my way to repurchase this one. I much prefer the hydrating lip treatment, but this is pretty good. This is actually pretty good. It's not like the best lip product, but it's pretty good. Um, it, it does the job nicely, but I'm really glad I have it because on the flight over here, my latest thing on Southwest, you got to get this. We're going to call it the, the Andrea. Uh, this is the drink to get. You ask for a club soda, and a true lime packet. They have this on Southwest now. You add the true lime packet to the water. It's so nice. It's so nice and refreshing. So get that next time you fly Southwest. I don't know if other airlines have the true lime packets. If they don't, bring you some. You can order them on the Amazonian. It's the most refreshing drink. It just takes, takes the in-flight drink experience up to a whole other level. Whole other level. Because uh, there's no such word as another, a whole other level, a whole other level. Yeah, do that. But that true lime stuff, you got to be careful with it. Make sure you dissolve it all the way. Because I got a little bit in the corner of my mouth. I didn't realize it. And it kind of gave me a little irritation there in the corner. So that is sitting pretty. Uh, yeah. So I hope you guys had fun today. Saw a lot of the city. I'm gonna have hopefully some more city wandering free time um, the day I leave for the airport because I got the same flight schedule I did last time. Fingers crossed we don't get that weird detour that we got last time. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna wrap the vlog up here, y'all. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow though, because we got more New York City fun. If y'all enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.